Welcome back to V Channel. Today we will continue with the series automation. In clip 11, I was introduced Airtable node. Today, I'll use it to illustrate further for you. It's an extremely important node that is split in batches. It will be absolutely necessary for us. In the big workflow, there's a lot of data coming in at the same time. Processing at the same time it reaches the limits of that platform, such as here. It's going to put in one value at a time. Each item, like in the previous clip I showed you, but with big workflows, we're putting in a huge amount of data at the same time, not in turn. In turn like this, what's the problem? It will be a problem. Reach the limits of that platform, like in this Airtable. It's the same on any platform. It will have a rate limits. Here's five requests per second on a base to prevent that server overload. It can only handle maximum of five requests per second. It's going to happen like this. I'll start by illustrating you. You with a raised note. I don't use this Airtable anymore. That we're going to use HTTP request. Advanced node. We will use a lot later. I will set up. We're going to rely on the API document here. First, we're going to put this address in. Then we'll import this URL. URL structure like this platform is this. The address of the base. Then v0 slash base ID and table ID. We're going over here. Here on the URL address we will have. This is the base ID, and this is the table ID. I'll copy this from the app. Then paste it. Then the authentication. We already have this on the Airtable note. But it's guided you in the previous clip. The one we created in the previous clip 11. Then we're ready. Now we're just going to put it in. Select predefined. Then credential type we will choose. Airtable Personal Access Token API. And then we're going to choose the token. Which create a previous clip. Airtable node test. You can see the previous clip. Then it got it. Then we will need the post for that we will choose. We choice post. Then in this body, what we need to send. Content. In this JSON part, we will send product. Its value is this JSON. Then we'll add another one and we'll send price. And the value of that is this JSON. Then it's priced. Okay, so now we start testing. That you see the problem, it happens. Like what I just said, service is receiving too many requests from you. It's getting too many requests from you. It over the limit. The rate limit is five requests. So in this case, we need to use. Plit in the batches in order to every time it pushes through. It pushes under five value, five items. Now it's pushing through a 49 over the limit. This is how it works, brothers. So now we're going to insert this. A node called Sulpit in batches. This will ask us to choose the batch size. That's how many item gets passed through at one time. If we want to send each one, we will choose to be one. If you want to send five at a time, we'll choose the five here. Or how much. Depending on the platform, it's allowed in this rate limit. Here, we're going to connect to this. We just install this one. Each time it will split into one. And if we type this as the five, then every time it's going to split it up, the five I stab it through, and it's going to go through the stream. Then it will form a sequential loop, sequentially like this, until we run out of item. It will end the cycle. And now we will put this node. Then we'll delete this replace me. Let's delete this too. Then we'll connect over here and this one. Now we're going to go around again. After, after inserting the data into the Airtable, it will come back here to keep putting that data block you just split to here to create a loop until we're done with all of this input item. But it hasn't solved the problem here. Brother, that it's not there yet. Stop for a specified period of time. As in this Airtable show is a second. It just keeps going through continuously. So here we're going to add another node. We also used a lot of it in the post that is wait. And it will stop at how much time interval we set. That's a second. Then it runs here. Wait a second. Just keep calling to get the child's data back into processing. That's the meaning. That's great, guys. Now we're going to run. That you see? 
In turn, it will take through each item. Wait a second to run. And so on, and so until the end. And similarly, now we choose five. Once it will let go of five items. Handle same turns five items. Stop for a second to meet the requirements of Airtable. Okay, so you understood the node split in batches. So, how does it work? And how it's necessary for us? In the big workflow, I wish you success. Thank you for following my clip. Subscribe to your YouTube channel to watch the general technology knowledge news, as well as the construction automation series in particular. Bye and see you later.